restrict orders and duping the public. Those are the allegations facing a chain of nutrition stores under federal, local, and Contact 13 investigation. Chief Investigator Darcy Spears has a story the nutrition rush owners don't want you to hear. Nutritional supplements are supposed to provide a platform for health. We take them on faith, assuming they're safe and they'll do our bodies good. So when health inspectors started asking questions about Nutrition Rush products and the company didn't have answers, red flags and caution tape went up at locations across the valley. They're doing things, of course, that are harmful to people versus helping people just to make some money. This former employee spoke on condition of anonymity. This one, their stuff is very misleading, was a manager for several years in several stores. Both believe Nutrition Rush routinely puts people in danger. We're trying to get healthy and trying to better themselves. And we did have people come in Returning, returning products because the product got them sick. The health district imposed a hold order, which happens when it believes the product is unwholesome, adulterated, or misbranded. We know that there's Kool-Aid in the liquid form. There's Kool-Aid in a nutrition drink. Mm -hmm. They put the Kool-Aid packet for the coloring and whatever else. And is that on the ingredient label? No. Something else that isn't documented? The product source. The health district has all these Nutrition Rush house brands under quarantine because the company can't prove where it all comes from. <laughs> Former employees say it's mixed and packaged at the owner's Henderson home in bathtubs and in a dusty warehouse garage. There's a variety of different brands that appear as though they're different products. But they're all the same. It's all done at home. The only thing that's different about them is the label? Mm-hmm. They make the labels. <laughs> Using a hidden camera, Contact 13 found store employees steering customers toward a new label, Rogue Nutrition, with a website that looks just like all the other quarantined brands. Is it by the same manufacturer or somebody no, different? It's Rogue Nutrition, it's a little bit different. Okay, so is this, is this made by the same guy that made the, the Super Farm? Uh, pretty much. Or whatever? Yeah, pretty the same. Supposedly. The guy they're referring to is Brian Kuvecki, who runs Nutrition Rush with his wife, Laura. Neither have ever returned any of our calls. I'm Darcy Spears from Channel 13. I'm looking for Brian or Laura or... Okay, can you turn off the, the camera, please? We'd like to speak with someone. They've been avoiding my phone calls, and this is our attempt to try to get some kind of comment. No one would talk, and they asked us to leave. But they can't hide from what we uncovered. Though the Nutrition Rush businesses are mostly in Laura's name, that may be because he's a convicted criminal with a record of drug, weapons, and stolen property charges. They're not in the business of helping. They're in the business of helping themselves. But the well may be running dry. Laura Kuvecki recently filed for bankruptcy at 21 Nutrition Rush locations in three states, 11 of them here in Southern Nevada. They've also been kicked out of all EOS Fitness gyms. Darcy Spears, 13 Action News.